What's up, YouTube fans, Stimming fans, cryptocurrency fans? It's your boy, Brett VR. Welcome to the show. Behind me is my website. When you guys get a chance, go check it out. And while you're at it, you can spend some Bitcoin on Bitcoin Lightning for like less than 75 cents for this picture. Okay. Um, it's only 0.002 BTC. Um, so limited, it's a limited time for this picture to be up. So go check it out when you can. The link is at the bottom of the description, or it will be the first message pinned at the bottom. So first up, we're going to talk about Bitmain. Bitmain has came out with a new chip or developed a new chip. It's a 7NM, I think, Nano Mini. That's what that means. But I could be wrong on that. But it's for Shy 256. Um, it's going to have 28, what they say, 28% improvement of power efficiencies in comparison with Bitmain previous 7 um in a chip and i guess uh it's supposed to be better for maybe the hash rate we don't know yet so we'll see when that comes out other than that other companies have seven nano mini chips so it really doesn't make too much sense for them to really be pushing this as hard because there are other strong stronger Bitcoin miners out there right now, and they're making tons of gain. But Bitmain is having a big problem right now with finances. They lost a hundred, well, five hundred billion dollars last year, which stops them from getting an IPO. All right. So next up, um, news came out that Samson, the S10, has a future built-in crypto support. Um, they had their big coming out or their big presentation for the new Galaxy S10. You guys can come over here to CCN and figure out where to watch it. But if you go to the Samsung site, it says under their security, the Galaxy S10 is built with a defense grade Samsung Knox as well as a security storage backed by Harwell hardware, which houses your private keys for blockchain enabled mobile services. This is big news for cryptocurrencies where Everybody now want to buy a Samsung, and probably since they're going to do this, every other phone going to have some defense mechanism for you holding your private keys on your device. So they're calling it a hard rail wallet on your cell device. So we're going to keep moving along. Elon Musk called Bitcoin brilliant. It says better than paper money. So this quote came from Mr. Musk. It's bypassing currency control. Paper money is going nowhere. And crypto is a far better way to transfer value than a piece of paper. That's for sure. Big thing with Elon talking about crypto came out because they was trying to figure out is Tesla going to use the blockchain or are they going to use cryptocurrencies to pay or use cryptocurrencies to mine in a car? Something like that. And we don't still don't know anything about that. Probably not because not necessary to use it you don't need the blockchain for everything in his mind he really knows cryptocurrencies is the future and especially bitcoin next this article came from ccn that bloomberg was saying that jp morgan coin coin is boosting the price of cryptocurrencies um we can see the price has been steady going up and currently i think it's at close to four thousand i could be wrong with that because the price can change at any moment but let's go over here and see what CNBC said about it. And I'm going to tell you right now, I think the price of the JP Morgan coin did booster up Bitcoin. Um, in that article, they bashed JP Morgan and saying no, it's the fundamentals. I really do think when a big institution like that bash Bitcoin and then come out on cryptocurrencies, it validates why cryptocurrencies are so important. So let's listen to what CNBC had to say about it. We're rolling out the first cryptocurrency backed by a U.S. bank. Here's what's happening, guys. Companies engineers have created what's called the JM coin. It's a digital token that will be used to instantly settle transactions between clients of this wholesale payment business. Now, only the bank's big institutional clients who have regulatory checks this token the value of the token is fixed. That's that's important. We'll talk about that in just a second. Coin is redeemable for a single U.S. dollar. You remember? You may remember J.P. Morgan's CEO Jamie Dimon uh, has bashed over the years Bitcoin. And he called it at one point a fraud. Uh, he and other J.P. Morgan managers have consistently said blockchain, though, uh, and regulated digital currencies 
hold some promise. Let's show you what Diamond said back in October of 2017. I could care less about Bitcoin. I don't know why I, <laughs> I don't know why I said anything about it. The blockchain technology, which is a good technology, we actually use a lot of different things. God bless blockchain. Cryptocurrencies and digital currencies, I think, are also fine. You know, GP or moves billions of dollars around the world every day. We don't do it in cash. It's done digitally. It's done digitally with the blockchain, so be it. But it'll still be a dollar cryptocurrency. What I have an issue with is a non-fiat cryptocurrency, dollar, so crypto, uh, sterling, euro, yen, they're all fine. I don't personally understand the value of something that has no actual value. People can do whatever you want, and I don't care. Okay? <laughs> I could care less what Bitcoin trades for, how it trades, why it trades, who trades it. If you're stupid enough to buy it, you'll pay the price for it one day. And JP Morgan will begin the currency for a tiny fraction of the $6 trillion in transactions that it completes every day. As you said, it's a fixed, it's a, it has a fixed price. So this isn't what he was talking about. It's there. not going to go right. up and you could almost see that he was going to do might do something like that. It doesn't go against his opinion about Bitcoin. But, well, the or question, blockchain. Or the matter. question that I have is, does this validate the world of other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin not and give them more value over time? Or does this eventually crowd out the need and even the value proposition of a Bitcoin and therefore lower its value, right? That, that to me is a central question when something like this happens. This becomes the, the cryptocurrency of choice for transactions or something like this, then yeah, the need for others dwindled, particularly the ones that are pegged to the dollar. There are cryptos that are pegged to the dollar, right. like a state, like a, a dollar coin, et cetera. And you gotta wonder what the purpose of that is for at this point, but in terms of Wall Street, I mean, Credit Suisse has been very active, and James, who heads the blockchain initiative over there, has said repeatedly on numerous occasions that you know, if you're able to take, for instance, a leveraged buyout and settle that in cryptocurrency over the, cryptocurrency, right. over the blockchain, that usually takes 30 days to settle. If you're able to settle that practically in a matter of days or hours, that puts that money back into the Right. more quickly but I, I guess the question that I'd ask is if you're an owner of Bitcoin this morning or ripple or uh, you know name like fast you know, uh, cash any of these kinds of things is this itself a great validation of this space therefore there's more value here or do you say to yourself if JPM has its own coin and maybe Bank of America one day will have its own coin and credit Suisse will have its own coin maybe there's no need for other coins and if those up and, and and therefore the value would be finished all right, so he brought up that. Remember, the JP Morgan coin is only used for major institutional investors. So retail investors can't even touch it. So we're not going to even touch that coin. But we don't even need that. Give you a thought. But um, all these other coins are necessary. JP Morgan is using Zcash privacy technology. JP Morgan blockchain is built on top of Ethereum. So JP Morgan is looking for a new technology that's built by cryptocurrencies and they're going to use as much as they can possible because they're going to pay up that money to get that new technology. So I'm going to end the video right here. When you guys get a chance, go visit my website, Brit VR Crypto. Also, check out Busto.io if you're looking for more influencers like me. They have all of them on their page. You can choose different cryptocurrency influencers, YouTubers that you want to see and test out the space and see who you like. So all you guys hit the like button, hit the subscriber button, hit the notification bell right after it. And everybody have a good day and everybody have a good night and enjoy crypto life.